Greetings, I'm Sola Fazudo, Global Wellness Educator, and I'm here with Grandmaster Montak Chia. And we are going to be talking about the upcoming event, the Tao and Tantra Meeting of the Masters Retreat here in Chiang Mai, Thailand. It's much anticipated, and I wanted to talk to Master Montak Chia about how he thinks about teaching this course once again. Um, there's always choice to see this one of the oldest um, uh, sexual practice in the world. That is in China and India. Uh, that means uh, it's still preserved and it's still passing on down. And uh, I think uh, me and Shao started to do much more into not only the old sex menu, but we did, we see how the modern sex and educated and all these things, how they come in together with the olden time. Yeah. The olden time is much more what we call by do it, do it, and see redundant over and over and say, hey, work this way. Okay. Yes. And now the scientists, they under the modern science, they discover and they more understand the body, the sex. They have so many philosophy and everything to do. So now, come in together with all this knowledge and to improve them into a much more uh, scientist way and with the traditional way come together. It's a fun and uh, it's really joy and help people and people really feel the joy of it. And so rather than looking like as a sexual experience, the way that you bring the light into it is more of the life force energy, how you bring the picture of the Tao's philosophy and really infuse the life force yeah. part of the teaching. Can you say more about that? So the, the Tao's believe that sexual energy is the most powerful energy the human process. Mm -hmm. okay? And the nature or the creator they're so generous. They want human to have so. They all want all the species to spread so much, and especially men. Okay, men and women, so that in the Tao Master said, approximately how many times I can ejaculation, and that's how the whole uh, concubine system coming by into the Tao, uh, into the China. And the Tao Master figured out about 5,000 to 6,000, but exactly the same number what the West now discover. Okay, so a man can ejaculation about five to 6,000, or maybe a little bit more, 7,000 in their life. So the emperor think, okay, I want to have 3,000 to 4,000 concubines. Mm -hmm. And he thinks he has money and power, so he, he wants a lot of children. Okay? And he sleeps with a, a, a one lady, ejaculation, he, he gets pregnant, he can have a few thousand uh, uh, prince and princess. Okay? Yes. So that is how potential. But nowadays, the population is so big, so all this sexual energy, you have one or two or three, it's a lot already. Mm -hmm. So if you have that many children, now uh, you have two or three, and the rest of nearly 4,000 to 5,000 ejaculation, what are you going to do? And that's why the monk, nun, holy man, and all these celibacy, they discover this. But in the Tao and the Tantric, there are bridge between the holy man and the monk, the nun, uh, non-sex, okay? If, if, if we, everybody can be a monk or nun, maybe now we now we we close to eight billion people, mm -hmm. and maybe if we have more and more people become monk and nun, we maybe only have one billion people in the world. <laughs> okay, but that cannot be. Okay, mm -hmm. so that's why we so you know Tao say, hey, this is a potential power. If we don't want children, you can have orgasm, many highly orgasm. And you can transform the sexual energy to feed mm -hmm. the organ, to feed the brain, to multiply the power. And that's what is a very, very powerful power. That is certainly a powerful longevity tool. And that's 
uh, a wonderful way that you describe how it generates the life force energy. Uh, so it's not merely a sexual practice, it's actually a very ancient healing modality. And then how about your relationship with Master Ma Charles Muir? Uh, you've had an ongoing relationship for many, many years, 20 or 30 plus years with Charles Muir. Yeah, yes. Yeah. We yes, have a yes. long, that means we know each other, we're running workshop in New York, we run New York in many other places. Yeah. Yeah. What is the greatest joy of working together in these workshops? Yeah. That means you see the different practice and all come together the same idea. Mm. No. East meets West. Yes. Thank you.